week for them to be out here. Oh, they're never going to want to leave. Otherwise. Right? So we have two of these bowl games. So the Fiesta Bowl we just talked about on Saturday, and the Cactus Bowl is tonight at Chase Field downtown. Yeah, Baylor versus Boise State. Liz is live in downtown Phoenix with more on the game. Hey, Liz. Is it cold? Hey, so I'm in kind of an awkward situation right oh, now. So I got, what? I got the Boise State Broncos over here. <laughs> I got the Baylor Bears over here, and they're both wanting to be the first one to say something. And I just don't know how to make this decision. So I feel like the only way to do this is a mask off thumb. Wait, let me do that. Again. Mask off thumb war. There it is. Go. Mask off thumb war. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Who's gonna do? Looks like Baylor has won. Baylor has won the mascot thumber. Oh, wait, but what? Boise State, what are you going to? Oh. Oh, you're both winners. You're both winners, but going to have to start with Baylor over here. That's the way the, the rules go. So, why are you guys going to win tonight? Well, our players, the staff, Coach Grove, they've all been working super hard. Um, they're excited to be here, and they want to end the season with a win. All right. Do you guys agree? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Why are you guys going to win? We've had a great um, time here in Arizona. It's basically our home away from home, so we're ready to keep the streak going. And Bronco Nation came out in strides, so we're really ready to get the win. Oh, it's going to be a good game, everyone. So you guys can do your whole cheer thing back here while we talk about something else that's going on before the game, because the game is tonight. It's at 8 15. Uh, but John with the Fiesta Bowl, uh, we got a lot going on over here. We're a little bit away from Chase Field, but not too far. What's going to be happening? Well, we've just got a big party here tonight, a uh, big tailgate where you can come out and you can eat and you can meet with all of the friends and see the cheerleaders come out and play uh, and uh, the bands will be here and you can come and party before the game and tickets are still available for this as well as for the game itself so where can people find the ticket information how much is it, is it going to cost and things like that cactusbowl.com or fiestabowl.com will both have ticket information but you can buy tickets right here uh, at the pregame party and you can buy tickets right at the ticket booth for the cactus bowl tonight and the pregame party is how much 25 25 dollars tonight and that gets you uh, a plate of food and a non-alcoholic beverage uh, and then there's also going to be uh, a beer available as well. Okay, and other food as well? Yeah, and other food as well, yes. So there's going to be a lot of different food options, but uh, just a lot of uh, things for the kids uh, come down and a lot of interactive games. Uh, so it'll be a really good time before the game. It, we open at 4.30 tonight. Perfect. 4.30 to 7.30. We're what, 4th Street and Buchanan? 4th Street and Buchanan, uh, and uh, yeah, just behind, just south of Chase Field. So we'll be down here. Look for the signs. Okay, great. And that website, one more time. Uh, uh, Fiestabowl.com. Fiestabowl Come. Easy enough, right? So, how are we doing, guys? We're still excited? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, a lot of fun tonight. Again, the game is a little bit later at 8.15, but it should be a pretty good matchup. We've got a lot of teams very confident. Are you going to hug me, too, now? Now you got to hug me, too. Yeah, of course. Aww. Back to how you can guys. he resist? She seemed much friendlier towards really. the Baylor Bear. Did you notice that? Well, the Baylor Bear. Don't say that. Oh, don't say that. No, I don't know. Now we know where your allegiance yeah. goes. Okay, cat's out of the bag. All right, Liz. A wedding dress fashion show to help inspire new brides to be. Kylie is live at Almond Tree Wedding <laughs> Boutique to showcase the new line of original gowns. Beautiful, beautiful. Can't wait to see these. Well, good morning. Yes, I have found my wedding dress. You can see this is a gorgeous gown here, but unfortunately, I'm just missing this piece right here, missing the groom, uh, but that's okay. We'll work on that. I know you've been teasing me about that this morning and probably will continue, but let's focus on all the bride-to-be's. Maybe you're watching, you just got engaged uh, over the holidays, or maybe uh, your friend got engaged, your, your daughter, your granddaughter. We have got the fashion show for you. We are here at Almond Tree uh, Boutique. It is a great little spot here on High Street, uh, right by Desert Ridge Mall. I want to talk to Pam. You're the owner. And tell me a little bit about your shop. You have 400 gowns in here and really something for every price point. I do. You know, uh, brides now either get married two years in advance, uh, make their plans two years in advance, or they're getting married this weekend and they need to dress fast. So we have 400 dresses off the rack. We have um, our own line of dresses that are available for order, and I can't find it for we have a couture service so you can design your own dress and we can make it for you. And so we are here today to talk about your own line that you're debuting at next week at the Big Bridal Expo, and we're going to put on a little show. So tell me what uh, is inspired this this uh, own your own line. 
Well, wonderful. You know, Arizona brides are a little bit different than the rest of the country. We like things that are simple elegance. You want things that are easy to wear and uh, beautiful and has that vintage touch. And so we uh, put a line together just for the Arizona bride and what she's looking for. So let's talk about this first model here, a beautiful dress. And tell me a little about this one. Well, this one is designed for a girl who just needs a little bit more coverage, maybe for the church uh, or something like that. And this little jacket is removable, and you have a strapless choice. So what I encourage brides to do is wear the classic look for uh, the ceremony and then take off the jacket and put on a sparkle belt or a statement necklace or big earrings and enter your reception with a different look com completely. I like that. That is a great point. We've got to bring out our second model. This is Brittany uh, looking beautiful. Tell me about this gown. Well, a lot of Arizona brides like to go to the beach and get married, especially in the summertime. So this dress is designed for the beach itself. There's a little bit of a slit in the front, so it's easy to walk across sand. We forget that when we step into sand, we sink about three inches and you have hem problems and you have to carry your dress. So in this case, it's got a, a sheer see-through skirt to give it a little bit more of a beach effect and you get a little bit of a wind action coming off the beach and great photography. Okay, and lastly, we're going to bring out our final model looking gorgeous. I love the belt. Thank you. You know, it's wonderful with these dresses. You can put anything on it and it changes the look entirely. This dress is for the girls who like Audrey Hepburn as their uh, Um to show off a nice surprise because people do sh stare at your back for about 20 minutes. We have to forget, <laughs> we seem to forget that we need to bring some details to that as well. Uh, easy to wear and to dance the night away. I love the back on this dress. Okay, ladies, you come out, all of you come together, smile for the camera. You're looking gorgeous and uh, there's still time to propose to your significant other. We've got uh, Christmas Eve, not Christmas Eve, we're done with Christmas yeah. Eve. we got New Year's <laughs> Eve right around the corner. So uh, thanks so much for helping us out. Thank Almond you. Tree, uh, they are located again on High Street. So we'll have more fun wedding uh, ideas coming up at about 940. But for now, we'll send it back to you. Oh, we don't even get to give Kylie a hard time. <laughs> You'd look gorgeous in any of them, Kylie. Hey, we want to take you to I-17 in Thomas. You know, overnight, the entire freeway was shut down because of a police situation. You can see things are wide open, but we've got to warn you about something. Uh, ADOT's having some technical problems with their overhead signs, you know, the electronic signs, and apparently a bunch of them still say that the I-17 is closed, so be sure to ignore that. They're working on the problem, trying to fix it, but just be forewarned that if you see the electronic signs that say I-17, closed because of an incident in Thomas that just simply is not the case. In fact, we've got green conditions throughout. It is holiday light. The good news is if you do have to head to the office today, uh, you're not going to deal with any kind of rush hour traffic. Hey, this Saturday is the Fiesta Bowl game as well as the parade in April. I was reading an article about the two teams that came in, Ohio State and Clemson, yeah. they came in yesterday. And apparently, Ohio State's football, college football team, uh, they have a tricked out a double-decker 747. All the seats nice. reclined into beds. Uh, they all had their own screens and headphones, a library of movies. I was just thinking when I was at the, <laughs> in college, I was just happy when my Dodge Colt started. Yeah. <laughs> there was no way no I was kidding. traveling like that. Or, or lean a different life, for sure. Uh, <laughs> all right, well, we're super excited. And you know, being that the game is a little bit later in the day, uh, that means that uh, both teams that their uh, marching bands should be in the parade on a Saturday morning. What we're not excited about, got